by serial correlation coefficient rb is different from point by serial correlation coefficient i have already described the point by serial correlation coefficient in separate video so need to make sure that there is no confusion between the both tests there is a difference between both tests in this video I will describe the pi serial correlation coefficient. It is a parametric test and it is based on the Pearson's product moment correlation. It does measure the relationship between an ordinal variable and the continuous variable. So you have one of the variable continuous, the other one, the other one is ordinal. It calculates first the point by serial correlation coefficient RPP, then uses the equation below to determine the by serial coefficient. The RP equal to point point by serial correlation, the RPP multiplied by square root of proportion of of cases in category one proportion of cases in category two divided by the ordinate of the normal distribution and shortly i will show you how to use this formula to use this test the data has to fulfill to fulfill certain assumptions and criteria the data has to be normally distributed, uh, i.e. normal distribution of the continuous variable, homogeneity of variance for both variables. I have already described homogeneity of variance in separate video clip. And also a continuous dichotomous variable. So you, need, you have two variables, one of them is continuous, the other one is ordinal, or it is a continuous dichotomous variable. So these are the condition that if they exist, then pi serial correlation coefficient can be used to calculate the correlation between those variables. One is continuous dichotomous and the other one is continuous variable. Now, table of standard normal distribution will be used in this test to work out the y ordinates. So the P1 and the P2 can be calculated from the data, and I will show you shortly how to do that. Once you obtain the proportion one and proportion two, use this table table of standard normal distribution to find out the y ordinate for these large proportion and small proportion. By serial correlation coefficient is one of the statistical tests in SPSS that can be used to measure the relationship between two variables, two, group, two groups of data, two set of variables. One of the variables is continuous variables and it is normally distributed a variable without an outliers. The other variables is dichotomous, i.e. categorical but dichotomous with continuity. So it's called continuous dichotomous. An example of that fail and pass. Failed anything, any, any, gray, any mark of 60 plus, it is pass. Anything below 60, it is fail. And fail can be fail marginal. So this is a dichotomous 
variable with underlining continuity and if we want to compare and find the relationship between those two variable one of them is continuous the other one is dichotomous continuous dichotomous or ordinal the test to use is by serial correlation coefficient in fact by serial correlation coefficient works by determining first the point by serial correlation coefficient which i have already described in a previous video clip once the value the r value for the point by serial correlation coefficient is determined a formula given below can be used to work out and calculate the pi serial correlation coefficient and the equation states that the coefficient for pi serial equal to the coefficient of point pi serial multiplied by the square root of p1 and p2 p1 is the proportion of cases in category 1 or the percentage p2 is the proportion of cases in category category 2 divided by an ordinate y y is an ordinate of the normal distribution and this value can be extracted from a table of the standard normal distribution table following a standard normal distribution curve so to do this test in SPSS I have here a data sorted out in two columns two variables one of them success pass and failure as, I, as you can see here pass and fa failure and this success or failure is a dichotomous as I have labeled failed one two pass and it is an ordinal uh, as success is just categories and the score is numerical I so that success a pass and fail with marginal uh, failure and or the ordinal uh, dichotomous this is a dichotomous or ordinal dichotomous variable and the score is a continuous variable from zero up to a hundred and I've checked that it is normally distributed without an outliers to find out if there is a correlation or relationship between this dichotomous variable continuous dichotomous variable with this continuous variable first of all we have to calculate the point pi serial coefficient and point pi serial coefficient can be calculated using Pearson correlation coefficient I've already described that also in a separate video for how to do Pearson's correlation coefficient the way to do the uh, uh, analysis and test is to click on analyze scroll to correlate pi variate as pi stands for two variates mean two variables if I click on two, two uh, bivariate correlation, I have here a box. I'm going to correlate between the success, which is the dichotomous variable, with the score, which is the continuous variable. And I'm going to keep the tick for correlation coefficient for Pearson. Pearson correlation coefficient to calculate the coefficient for the point pi serial. And I'm going to stick with the system two tail test of significant as shown here and if I click the OK icon I get this table this table shows that there is a correlation between success and score and the value for the correlation is 5.504 so this is really a moderate relationship between those two variables the dichotomous one and the continuous one dichotomous and the continuous variable and in fact there is a strong significant and this is really this relationship has a significant value of less than 0.05 so this is really uh, credible and uh, statistically significant significant relationship between success and score the value for this in this table can be considered as here point pi serial correlation and then we and now we need to uh, calculate the 
by serial coloration RB and to do uh, to calculate the RB we are going to use the formula here given below as we can see here the RB is already determined to be 0.504 now I need to determine the P1 and the P2 to determine the P1 and the P2 the way is to click on analyze descriptive frequencies reset and then I'm going to find the proportion or the percentage of pass and failure. So I'm looking at the dichotomous variable. And I'm not going to make any changes here. Just stick to this and click on OK. In this table here, success and failure, it's a fail and pass. So there are 58.1% fail and 41.9% pass. So the proportion here is 0.5. 814 fail 0.4194 pass so i'm going to use this value to uh, and apply them into the standard normal curve table here as you can see large portion small portion so our first p value from this from this table here we've shown is 0.581 and the other one is 0.419 so we need to use these two value on this table here if we look at the po larger portion here of 0.58 if we scroll down from 0.581 up to here i have labeled this value with the red square rectangle and this is the value 0.58 one closest to 0 0.8 0 0.581 and then for the smaller portion 0 0.419 0 0.419 the closest one is here so from this coordinate we can calculate the y and the y here is 0 0.3902 this is the way to work out the y ordinate from that standard table using a larger portion and a smaller portion p1 and p2 now i need here to use a calculator so if i click on calculator here and back again to statistics and the calculator so what i'm going to use the formula first of all i'm going to put the value for calculate first the portion one and portion two multiply then square root of this so the p1 is as we can see here is 0.581 multiplied by 0.419 if i hit equal it will be 0 0.4 0 0.243 and so on if i do a square root for this value now i've got the square root of po uh, po proportion one proportion two then i need to multiply that by the coefficient of point by serial following the equation the point by serial is determined here is point so multiplied by point five or four hit the bottom equal so i still get point two four eight and I need now to divide that by the y ordinate and the y ordinate is as I've already calculated that is 0 0.3902 and if I click OK then this is the value for point for the pi serial correlation coefficient 637 this value as we can see here the pi serial Correlation coefficient is 0 0.637. The point by serial coefficient is 0 0.504. So this is uh, higher. The value for this is higher than the point by serial. So this is the way to do and measure and calculate a relationship or a link or association between two variables. One of them is 
continuous variable, normally distributed. The other variable uh, is dichotomous variable when there, when there is an ordinal, ordinal in it, i.e. there is continuity of it. The way to use the, to do it is to do a pi serial correlation coefficient following the formula given uh, by, uh, using two tests, the Pearson correlation coefficient and the pi, pi, um, point pi serial correlation coefficient to work from them to extract the point pi serial and then um, use the equation to determine the value for the coefficient for the pi serial.